Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. It's literally oh, 10 degrees. It's so cold right now. I'm waiting for the car to warm up before I get going to work here. And I'm in the driveway, I'm outside, and I wanted to do this speed test uh, signal check of the T-Mobile Home Internet Service to see how far it could reach. So I have my uh, Nokia gateway in the back of the house on the top floor in the spare bedroom. So it's like as far away from this point as possible. I'm right at the edge of my property relative to the driveway. So I'm literally as far as I could be without being in the street for the most part. All the phones are off of Wi-Fi right now. They're all on LTE or 5G, I believe. So they're all on LTE. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test the range of the T-Mobile Home Internet Service. So this is actually a test of the hardware, a test of the gateway to see what you can expect to be like, you know, to have some sort of distance of the of the hardware. So the like I said, the modem router gateway thing is on the top level, all the way in the back of the house, opposite of this property. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi for all of these and we'll check them out and we'll see what type of range we can get. All right. So boom, boom. All right. I turn on the Wi-Fi on all three devices before we get to speed testing anything and we'll see if it'll pick it up first of all. All right. So this one went ahead and picked it up. All right, this is the Samsung and the signal actually looks pretty good. By the way, it's on five gigahertz. So this is not the 2.4, this is the five gigahertz. So that's reaching and you'll see it says Wi-Fi six, all right? Uh, this one is now reaching. We got a two bar signal out of three. I think this one's at like, what do we got here? Like two out of four or something like that. And this one here is I think two out of three. So this is the Google Pixel 5, this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, and then this is the iPhone 12. So they're all picking it up with a, with a decent signal. It's not great, but it's definitely, you know, picking it up. Let's go ahead and speed test each of these and see what type of speeds we get. I'm going to test them all at the same time. Why not? Stress test, right? All right, so you'll see there, T-Mobile, home internet. There we go, that's the T-Mobile home internet, and there it is as well. Uh, I don't know what my expectations really are, to be honest with you, from this type of distance, but we'll see, you know. Uh, the range, you know, the signal strength just isn't really there, so I wouldn't expect it to be incredible, you know, but uh looks like it is chugging along. Uh, for the most part, whenever I do speed test the T-Mobile Home Internet, if it's like a single device, I usually get like 120, 130 megabits per second on the downlink. Uh, so, just to give you a frame of reference. Alright, let me see who tested first. Okay, so the we got a 3 megabits down and a 7 megabit uplink on the first device. That finished. That's the Pixel. On the S20 Plus, we got 5.5 by 4.5. And, and that's the S20 Plus. And then on the iPhone, we got 10 by 5 for downlink and uplink. Not bad, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and run the... Uh, fast.com test now to see what type of video resolution we can expect uh, from this type of distance so like I guess this test would be good to know like if you're out on the porch if you're in your driveway would you stay connected if you had like a tablet or a laptop or something if you're working from the porch you know that sort of thing this is what you can expect in terms of range so I'd say I'm probably about 25 to 35 feet away from the door the front door but the house is an additional 20 to 35 feet on the other side of the house and it's on the on the other uh, floor the upper level so it's the the gateways as far as it could really be all right so there you have it that's kind of your your view of what you can expect in terms of range i don't know the signal's pretty high here now it seems to be picking up i don't know if anything changed but oh this one isn't picking it up anymore See, it is saying low quality, the range uh, for that. So, I don't know. These seem decent. Maybe because it's a little bit higher and maybe I'm blocking this because <laughs> it's a little low. I don't know. Let me see. Kind of see if that changes there. Yeah, it, it started to pick up the signal. So, maybe I was kind of blocking it. I don't know. At least it's picking it up. So, just to give you an idea of what you can expect from the T-Mobile Home Internet gateway range uh, in terms of distance, you know, from where it's positioned to the other end of your house. Anyways, if you appreciated this video, 
let me know by giving me that thumbs up. You know, share this to your favorite social media platforms. Let people know what they can expect from the T-Mobile Home Internet. If there's anything else you guys want me to test on this T-Mobile Home Internet product, whether it's the service itself or the device, let me know, and I could do that for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day. That just about does it for this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity to watch. We appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to give this video a like and share it to all of your favorite social media platforms. Also, consider becoming a subscriber if you'd like more from the SMT and activate that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and you'll be the first to know when something does hit the YouTubes. Also, we've got items in the description box. We've got a Discord server. The at Tech Twitter handle is there. And there's ways to donate and support SMT creation. Uh, that pretty much does it for today. Thank you so much for being here again. Hope you have a great day and we'll hopefully see you soon on the next video. Peace.